so hello guys uh, as you can see in the title this video will be uh, over the air cooler which is AG400 ARGB by deep cool so uh, when I built a PC build karwaya tha, then uh, I did some uh, stress test using uh, Intel Extreme Utility software so in stress test I observed that the temperature was rising like 85 degree 90 degrees as well but in normal tasks as well as uh, in gaming uh, the temperature was not that much it was going around 70 so that is fine but in case in future if I use the CPU till its full limit then the temperature rise can become a problem I was searching over the internet for different types of air coolers and uh, liquid coolers and then I found out this deep cool AG400 ARGB and then I thought of giving it a try so uh, here it is and now I uh, will go through the installation process so after opening the packaging uh, uh, and let's open the box inside the box uh, we got an LGA1700 brackets and some back support for the installation and along with the brackets we got a thermal paste from deep cool also and here this is the manual and the fans are also working properly like it's spinning smoothly and the bottom side is also properly covered these are the uh, fins so basically there is no damage and this is the power cable for the air cooler uh, this also looks fine there is no damage visible these are the specifications for this so let's proceed with the installation so as uh, per the user manual uh, first of all we need to attach this back support or back bracket to the motherboard from the back side then uh, we will keep the motherboard over it and then we have to keep these four supporting bushes over the motherboard so that we can damp the vibrations then after putting these bushes this bracket will come over it and then we will screw it from the four like uh, from the screws which is given in the packet and then these two pin kind of structures will fit into this air cooler and then uh, it will sit over these two pins like this so before proceeding further i have opened the glass panel of the cpu and from back side also i have opened it because i need to access this back side of the motherboard area where the lga bracket will fit into these four uh, corner points and to clean the thermal paste uh, I am using this uh, eyeglass cleaner it is having only 70% of alcohol so I will not recommend it to you uh, better if we go with a 90% of isopropyl alcohol but currently I don't have that so I will go with it but I have to be careful so I thought before installing it I should check it so I have plugged the power pin of the air cooler into the motherboard and I have removed the stock cooler's power pin and uh, we should be very careful because any static charge can cause uh, huge damage to our motherboard so we should so now we will turn on the power then we will turn on the UPS and now we will turn on the CPU power just to check whether it's working or not and yeah it's working uh, okay so we should turn our CPU off and now we can pass it so first we need to remove the stock cooler and while removing it I realized that it was stuck almost because there was no gap to put my hands in so I have to remove the GPU and the RAM stick because these both were blocking the way 
and uh, when I removed the stock cooler I realized that something was wrong because the thermal paste was not properly applied here and that is why we were getting temperature spikes so now uh, we have two brackets to fit on the back side now either we can do hit and try we can select one and try to fit in on the back side if it fits it's okay or else uh, we can go through the user manual so the first one is not fitting so we can try the second one and if we check it closely it's fitting it's getting fit yeah so it's properly a fit so we can go with this we can remove this sticker and then it will stick as per the user manual we can also see that bracket C is uh, suitable for this for this kind of pin structure in your CPU holder so in our CPU holder there's a similar structure so we can go with the C kind of bracket so here two types of brackets are there B and C so C kind of bracket is fine for us and here it is we have fitted properly now we can use the pushes over the motherboard aligning to it then we will keep this bracket G over it so now the top bracket is also fit now we have to clean this uh, improper thermal paste and we have to apply a new thermal paste the thing is I cannot show like uh, the full process because one in one hand I am holding the camera and uh, other side I am doing it so now we will apply the new thermal paste over it after cleaning it so now like uh, we will be using this 70% alcohol eye lens cleaner for cleaning the CPU and after cleaning it is looking something like this so it's clean enough and here the stock cooler has also been cleaned from the back side so yeah this jugard works but I would suggest to go for a 90% alcohol so now we can uh, go for the installation of this air cooler first we need to apply the thermal paste on CPU and at the base of this air cooler also so finally the critical thing which was applying the paste and fixing the air cooler was finished and now we will fix the RAM stick and after fixing the RAM stick you can still see there is some clearance we can put one more stick so there is gap so that's good now we will check the CPU so now we have fixed the GPU and uh, it's properly tight and you can see some gap between the air cooler and GPU so that's good there should be some clearance for proper airflow now we will check the CPU so we have covered the glass panel of the CPU and still there is some clearance so it's getting fit properly uh, let's turn it on yeah so it's working properly there is no issue and there is no noise or vibration such thing we will check the CPU now uh, let's check uh, the Intel Extreme Utility stress test so let's start the test before test the temperature was like less than 50 degrees celsius and when we started the test suddenly it uh, got a spike like uh, it went more than 60 degrees celsius which is quite normal so if it's staying below 70 degrees celsius that means our air cooler is quite effective so that is normal and after the test it should drop down again like to the normal temperature which is below 50 degrees celsius yeah so that's great so next time when you get temperature spikes, don't forget to install any air cooler or liquid cooler inside it. Thanks for watching.